All right, guys, this time we'll see how we can trigger custom animations in Angular. Uh, we'll start with something simple, such as uh, when pressing this button, we'll see our to-do list displayed. And as you may have noticed, uh, the items are being displayed one after the other with a slight fade in and fade out effect. And when we delete something, it disappears uh, in a very nice way. Okay, let's see how we can uh, recreate this. I suggest first to read this article on Angular animations, how to animate list by Corey Ridlan. And uh, we'll be following uh, a lot of the techniques described in the article. So let's go to our code. Before entering to the animations, uh, let's see what uh, we have inside of our uh, component. So we have uh, several to-dos which are listed inside of one array and they are objects with IDs and data. And then uh, for their display we're using ng4 and for each of the to-dos we are displaying the to-do data, so this part of the to-do, plus one of button uh, with a class of remove and whenever we are clicking on the button we are removing the to-do by passing to-do.id to remove to-do function. Uh, here is the remove to-do uh, function, actually we're using the filter on the to-dos uh, array, we're just uh, excluding the uh, past uh, to-do ID from the array and returning another array to create animation and to trigger it. We're using uh, this binding here, list animation, and we're binding it to the to-dos.land. So the moment we see certain changes in the length of uh, our to-dos, this uh, list animation will be triggered. And let's take a look at uh, the animation how it's created. Animations can seem a little bit confusing, but actually we are just importing uh, several um, functions uh, from Angular animations. Also inside of uh, our file app uh, module, we are importing the browser's animations module and uh, we are listing it inside of the imports array to be accessible by other components. After having done this, uh, we are actually creating our animation here on line 26. Basically, we are looking for changes or for triggering of the list animation, uh, which we have provided here as a binding in the UL element. And the moment to do slant changes, um, the following logic will appear. Uh, so we are starting a transition. This means that the animation will run uh, both for uh, states which are displaying elements or entering the scene and exiting the scene. Whenever such a thing happens, such as deleting or showing a to-do, we need to uh, query the sub-elements uh, of the list. So we have UL lists and all the LI items are actually our to-dos. The moment the element appears on the screen, we'll be running the following changes. So first uh, we are hiding the element and uh, afterwards slowly we are uh, showing the element until it reaches opacity of a one. We are using here the stagger function uh, in order to wait before the next element appears. So to have this uh, fluent animation and this is the easing uh, which we are using uh, for the animation. All this can be configured. And then we have an optional uh, flag set to true. And this is uh, just uh, to prevent errors uh, to be displayed on the screen when uh, we don't have any more uh, sub elements. So just because we are querying the elements and if we don't have such sub elements, Angular will display error. That's why we are providing this optional set to true to prevent those errors from happening. And then for the disappearing of the element, we are uh, tracking the leaf change with a duration of uh, 200 milliseconds we are setting the opacity of the element to zero again preventing errors and uh, basically that's the logic of the function and uh, you can see how many customizations you can have by using such states as enter or leave yeah from now on you can uh, uh, just explore more functionalities. By the way, they are listed in the Angular uh, documentation. So here in the Angular I.O. you have introduction to Angular animations. Basically, you can read more about the states and the styles, how they can be applied for different states to achieve uh, simple animations. 
so that's it guys if you like the information in the tutorial you can subscribe to the channel